You know, I had Freeway Rick Ross on my show. Who? Freeway Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. It's the homie. I know he's your homie too, but yeah, you know, he feels like the show is really based off his life. He said he even met with John Singleton before the show launched. Mm. Um, and then John went out and did it without him. What are your thoughts on that? I always say, like, Rick always, to me, Rick deserves his own show, his own story. You feel me? Like, Rick is a Rick is a boss. He doesn't need someone else to interpret his show or his story. Rick has always been a self-starter. So I respect him meeting him and knowing him for that. There's no way that Snowfall would live up to that because that's a different story. And Snowfall is so far off of that as a derivative. Um, as far as the stuff with him and John, of course, those are two men that would have had to deal with that at the time. They must have. And John's dead, so that's that. Right. And then, um, yeah, and then as far as anything else, you know, Freeway got the right to speak his opinion on, on how he likes the show and doesn't. Um, I know he supports people like me. Right. So I think that that alone shows you that he's able to separate, you know, things accordingly. And um, but if he, you know, if he doesn't like something, he going to express it. Right. You know, um, so, yeah, I, 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 big shout outs to Freeway. And I, I, I would love to see Freeway. You know, he did a documentary. I remember when he first came home. He had done his documentary, and um, and that was him. Mm -hmm. You know, he did that. That's yeah. his. And I feel like, although with these television shows, you have to work with other people, you have to collaborate. I would love to see something that he does that's focused on him, with him helming it. And um, yeah, because the closer you are to the source, the better, because this is a game of collaboration and of entertainment. So things can go left. Once you start collaborating with a lot, for sure. with a lot of folk, you know, for sure. Yeah. Um, you mentioned, you know, 2019, John Singleton passes away. Um, yeah. How did you feel when you heard the news? Um, yeah, it was devastating. It was devastating losing John. Um, besides the show, it was really devastating for the show. We we were in the midst of shooting at the time. And the uh, production had just came back from overseas um, and he fell ill and was n never returned back to set. And it didn't, you know, that wasn't just a, a, a day or two, you know, that, that was a, a, a amount of time that we didn't know what his health status would be. Right. So that was really devastating. And then to lose him and to have to go, you know, have a burial service for him and all of that while still being in our season, just that alone was uh, was really traumatic for us as a production and as artists working along with him. I think we still haven't, I don't think we'll ever recover from that, right. you know, and from that loss, artistic, um, and just as a brother, right. you know, and as a leader. You don't replace that. You don't get over it. It is what it is. You move on. And I think that we all keep him in our in our hearts and our prayers and, you know, in our thoughts. And, you know, like, why do we do this? And how do you, you know, the the type of professionalism in which you do it, the storytelling, a lot of the lessons that he's given over the years imparted on us. I think we carry that. And um, and big shout out to FX to 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 finish this. Right. You know, that didn't have to happen. Right. You know. Um, Definitely. It's not old to anyone. Right. So to to tell this story beginning, middle, and end and bring conclusion, completion to it, I think is is really dope. And um yeah, and, and we yeah, we definitely miss him. That was really tough. Yeah, I seen you tweet, um, you said he was not a teacher but an awakener. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he, you know, again, even with the first thing I told you, but you know, after that, um, you know, hey, John, I want to direct or John, I, I have this this concept that I want to do that I'm writing on. Hey, man, write it. This is what you do. No, nah, no, nah, you don't want to do that. Do this. 
he was always collaborating, right. always um, seeing the gift, speaking into it. For sure. You know, and um, with in, with enthusiasm. You know, sometimes you tell people your gift, your dream, and people receive it so lackluster. Right. Oh, uh, right. That's when. Oh, when you wanted to do that. <laughs> You know, for people that take your take your thoughts and your ideas and they lift it, they build it, they, you know, they inspire it, they, you know, fan the flame of it. It's really um, it really helps. It's really beneficial to, to, to artists and everyone, business people alike. For sure. What was your favorite John Singleton movie? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's easy to say, but I just feel like Boys in the Hood, Boys in the Hood had a father-son relationship for black young boys that it's hard for me to think of a better one. Mm. It felt real. It was It was what I experienced as a young man the teaching was was stern but loving i feel like that furious character is so underrated in cinema history but i know it was impactful cuz we got generations and generations of people that have seen that movie that love that movie but that particular relationship between trey and furious um yeah that's 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 it for me for sure yeah. how what changed with snowfall now that John was no longer involved mm. hard to answer what changed because um I only I'm an actor right so I can't say from script to script the changes. But, you know, we got something that's on set that sometimes we're like, hey, we got to put some of the put some of the John funk on it. You know what I mean? Like put some of like make sure that we are that we're we're living in that truth. You're right. Living in that honesty. Um there's that there's certain moments where we where we can feel that right um so it's it's really hard it, for me to be able to say you know moment by moment what changed um other than the obvious him not being there him not not having his voice not having his pov um but i also feel like John empowered people while he was here. John wasn't a person that, you know, John from the camera team to the people doing security detail to caterers. Like John would be bringing in a new person every week. Like who that? Somebody John brought in. She ever did security before? No. <laughs> she doing security now. Aww. That's how he was, you know? And that's just someone new and what, but then, whoa, we got a camera operator. One of the best in the business, really? Right. Why are they here? John brought them on. That's crazy. You know, we got Walter Mosley in our writing room for television. Right. <laughs> How? Right. John brought them on. Crazy. You that know, so when you're left with a lot of that, when you're left with all of these people that he wanted to collaborate with, some that he gave, you know, opportunity to, um, many that he gave opportunity to, we're not in a place where we don't understand the assignment. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know what I mean? We're not here like, oh, here go just a band of people, random folks trying to, live up to some sort of uh you know the 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 memory or the intention of a ghost no this was a soul that meant a lot to us 
and has inspired and worked and collaborated with us, you know? So uh, an actor like Isaiah or Damson or Michael or Angela or Sergio or, or, or Carter, they, they had a personal experience with John. Right. I, you know, it's not like I got to just hold that. They holding that already. Right. You know, so that was, you know, that was just who he was. That's, you know, you can only leave what you, what you left. Right. You know, so. That same year that you guys had a scene with a young John Singleton who's kind of like paying homage to John. Yeah, they put that in 310, which was more of like a surreal episode. They wanted to do something in that episode that sort of gave it, gave a somewhat of a glimpse of the neighborhood and how the neighborhood was changing mm-hmm. and what, you know, what would be the contrast of a young precocious kid that was a filmmaker. Right. You know, so not to say that that was him or anything, but just to give this sort of contrast, this this other, Snowfall is good for that, trying to give more than just the gangster or the victim or the, you know, a POV from, you know, camera POV from another lens in life. 